Aston's goal under pressure again. Jamison with the in-swinger and a firm header at the far post by Courtwaite and followed home by Sasha Ogdenovsky who makes it three goals in three games. <laughs> Sasha Ogdenovsky is on fire. We talked about the pressure building on Phoenix. They were sitting back on top of their own goal. Again, good quality ball into the box. The deep swinging ball from Jamison. It was headed back across. It was almost an Adelaide player cleared it off the line. But it fell beautifully for Sasha Ogonoski. His confidence sky high. Diego, I think it was, that it came back off. And he didn't have to be asked twice. Wonderful contact. Diego on the goal line. Back into the path of Ogonoski. Right foot volley through the crowd. And the now familiar celebration. The kiss on the arm and the tribute to his late father, Josef, who he dedicates all his goals to. He is on fire in front of goal at the moment, Sasha Ogonoski. Got another one to defend here. Again, it's a wonderful delivery, and Cristiano's header makes it 2 0. Angry at being left on the bench this week, he's delivered his response where it matters. And what about the quality of delivery? Paul Reed, he was right in that inviting area in the six yard box, and again, we've said it time and time again Adelaide, just more conviction. They want to win the football. The in-swinging ball, edge of the six-yard box, bang, Cristiano. He was the quickest there. There was plenty of Phoenix bodies in the way, but he just wanted it more. Where is the mark in that one? That is what uh, Ricky Herbert will be asking. Cristiano, sixth of the campaign. Can we talk about the excitement in the Adelaide camp for this match? Imagine in the Waitakere camp. It'll be even higher, you'd imagine. I can't imagine they're fully professional. Well, they've got one or two familiar names. Danny Hay and Neil Emblen. One of the squads that will uh, face the Reds. Here is uh, Radio Vidmar. It's 35th game in charge in the A-League tonight at the Reds. And they can uh, win his 50th point if they are victorious in this game. That's a good header, though, and it's crept over the line, has it? It has now. Wellington have their selves back in the game, and it's Fred who will claim the final touch. 2-1, a scruffy goal for Adelaide to concede, but Fred is back on the mark in the A-League. And again, that in-swinging ball and the willingness to win the contest flicked on, found its way all the way to the far post. There was a cluster of bodies in there. May have been McCain who got the touch. It hit the post, came across, and then Fred, the first to react, the in-swinging ball, McCain off the back, onto the post, Galekovic scrambling, and then Fred, too quick. Uh, no foul. Jamison was uh, adamant that he'd been tripped by Brown. And all of a sudden, it's a contest, a real contest. And look at the possession in the second half, 76% for the visitors. That's good work though by Cristiano. Third goal would make it tricky for them. Oh, and they've got a third goal from Cassio. A blistering strike by the Brazilian. His second goal in a red jersey. And Wellington's comeback was perhaps premature. And they'll be so disappointed, Phoenix, but credit Adelaide, they had been on the back foot. Cristiano again, instrumental. And then the finish was superb, wasn't it? It was a messy sequence of play. But credit Cristiano, he was the one. He outmuscled Manny Musket, turned him beautifully, then slipped a lovely ball. And then Cassio, wicked drive through the body of the goalkeeper. Moss, nothing he could do about that from that range. Yeah, there was plenty of venom in that strike. And Cassio has just his second goal for the Reds, but it could be a crucial goal, that one. In towards Harefields, Cornthwaite wins the header. Cristiano, beautifully done. They've played some great stuff Adelaide United here.
Cassio in space. Cassio! Spectacular by the Brazilian. Fantastic goal. Fantastic move. Adelaide have the three points. And again, you just knew he was going to shoot then, didn't you? But it was a word from Cristiano holding it up in the attacking half and allowing Reed to get himself forward. And then the little ball in behind was perfectly weighted. And at that moment, you just knew one touch and then the drive. He knew the angle. He did it earlier. This time, a bit further out. Equal power and equally effective. An action replay of his first effort. And Glenn Moss was just beaten by the pace. And it's a brilliant goal. Whenever you see the ball doesn't spin, it just goes down. You know someone's hit it very sweetly. I've got to ask you, Trevors, 1993-94 was the last time a team from this state won the uh, national championship, the old Adelaide City. What about this Adelaide United team? Are they potential champions this year? We're two-thirds of the way through this season. I think definitely. The way they've shown, they've played so much football, they've gained in confidence. That gives them a real continuity. Here they come again. Cassio on a hat-trick. Saved and popped home by Cristiano, who gets, like his Brazilian teammates, a double. And Adelaide have five. And again, they carve them open. Cassio seems to be in acres of space every time Adelaide come forward at the moment. Again, I think he had eyes for the bottom corner. He sensed Hattrick was on the offing. Beautiful little ball slipped through. Then they're all presenting. They all want to get on the end of it. Good save by Moss. He was unlucky. The ball ricocheted into the path of Cristiano. He didn't need a second invitation. What an impact the two Brazilians tonight. Aurelio really Vidmo is a genius. Adelaide United 5, Wellington Phoenix 1. Well, this form, Trivers, uh, Adelaide asserts for the four, that's for sure. The only question really is uh, how this fixture backlog will affect them in January. They've got to play a lot of games, still a lot of travelling. Well, they did have a little dip after the final of the Asian Champions League, perhaps understandably. Is uh, Barbiero meantime still strong, still focused? Travis Dodd. Oh, now it's broken for Cristiano. He wasn't offside, and Travis Dodd puts in the sixth goal for Adelaide United. Wellington Phoenix all at sea again, and Travis Dodd, the captain, puts the icing on the cake. And you just knew that you couldn't keep Travis Dodd off the score sheet. As we said earlier, he would have been getting a little bit jealous, but it was Fabian Barbiero who started it. Wonderful forward work, and it was the pressure from Adelaide. Too many numbers. Wellington coughed it up cheaply. Glenn Moss has been unlucky. He's made a couple of great saves. But in the end, the weight of numbers and Travis Dodd on the spot to ram it home. Well, it's turned into an absolute flogging at High Marsh.